If you're new here, welcome. So today I thought it'd be really fun to finish off my little trio of mermaid aquatic creatures with a terrifying or scary siren. This is the kind of siren that I imagine would be in the deep depths of the ocean that, you know, only the real poor unfortunate souls ever encounter. And so I definitely wanted her to be a lot darker and, you know, just creepier. And I, what I feel like would have really finished this look off is if you have the ability to do so, I would create nice, beautiful, sharp, black, pointy teeth. I feel like that would have been so iconic for this look. I didn't have any black mouth special effects besides my tooth lacquer palette, so I incorporated a little bit of that with my blue food coloring, and I think that worked out pretty well, but I feel like an all black mouth would be absolutely terrifying, almost as if she's just excreting oil spill and all that good stuff. So anyways, if you guys are interested in recreating this look or you just want to follow along with the tutorial, just keep watching. Hey guys, so to start off, we're going to be creating our gills. You're going to be needing some liquid latex, your sponge, and also taking a piece of tissue paper. You're going to be ripping off all of the four edges, so that way they are all going to be rugged, and this is going to help us blend it into the skin and have it look more realistic. You're going to apply the base layer of latex, apply your tissue, apply some latex over top so that it seals it, and you're going to be doing that two more times on one side of your face, so that we're going to come out with three realistic looking gills. If you want it to come off the face a little bit more, feel free to fold the tissue paper in half so that you do have a sharp line. But the reason this is okay is because we are designing it that way so that the rough edge is what is being blended into our skin and the sharp edge is what is going to be lifted, creating that gill effect. Next, we're going to be setting this with baby powder and you know you could use any translucent powder, but we're gonna take the cheap route for this. Next, we're moving on to the majority of this entire project, which is the base body paint. So I'm going to be taking my Graftopian Pro Paint in Mantis Green, Catalina Blue, and Graveyard Gray, also jumping in to my Meron Paradise paints in Light Blue and Black. And you're literally going to be applying this all over your face and body. I wish there was more direction I could give, but unfortunately, this is basically the entire makeup look. You're literally just covering your entire body in paint and adding a few details. It's really simple, so if you're planning on going as a scary sea witch or a siren or a dark mermaid queen for Halloween, then this would be absolutely perfect. Um, a little advice I could give you guys about this is if you are finding that you aren't getting as much coverage as you would like or maybe the body paint is looking a little bit more sheer, feel free to wait until it dries and apply a second coat or if it's just looking kind of streaky, change the way that you're applying the makeup. Instead of applying it in straight lines with the brush, change it and apply it in little X directions so that you're getting that nice crisscross effect and therefore you're going to be adding more coverage and that's going to help alleviate some streaks. For me, it just honestly depended on the part of my body I was working on. For example, my collarbones would always require a little bit more paint and to do crisscross methods just because that didn't really like to take the paint or it would just make it look more sheer. Next, we're going to be taking some of our Graftobian Pro Paint in Mantis Green. Taking that onto a sponge, we're just going to be stippling that around the contours of our body. So this is going to be on our shoulders, bringing it up to the sides of our neck and our face as well. Just kind of helping shape our face a little bit more. And we're going to be doing the exact same thing with our Meron Paradise Paint in Yellow. Not only is this going to help break up the paint, but it's also going to help give our bodies a little bit more dimension as well. We're also going to be doing the exact same thing with our Meron Paradise Paint in Teal, and personally, this was my favorite color I used to break up the paint. I just feel like it added that pop that we needed, and so this is the one that I definitely liked to add a lot more of, just because it really helps brighten this look and give more of the texture that I was looking for. Next, we're going to be going into our Jaclyn Hill Morphe eyeshadow palette, and we're going to be taking this black and plum eyeshadow, and we're just going to be setting the paint around our eyes, just so that it doesn't, you know, start to break up, and so that we can also add more pigment to this look before we move on to doing the rest of our eyeshadow. I'm also going to be applying this to our collarbones and bringing this up onto our neck as well to add a little bit more definition to our body so that it will match our face later on. Also, can we just talk about how derpy I look while doing this? Like, what the heck? 
Next, I'm going to be moving on to eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking this metallic green from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, applying that all over my lid before moving on to my Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliner in black and applying that to my lower waterline. Next, we're going to be taking this seafoam green eyeshadow and applying this right on top of the metallic green just to add a little bit more of a pop of color before moving on to this metallic light blue and we're just going to be applying that to the inner portion of the lid to brighten it up a little bit. We're going to be jumping back into our Maron Paradise paint in black and we're going to be accentuating the gills. We're going to be applying this right underneath our liquid latex and tissue gills just so we can help define that a little bit more. And we're also going to be adding some highlights with our Maron Paradise paint in white and you're going to be applying this right on top of our liquid latex gills. Next, we're going to be taking our NYX Epic Ink Liner and using this to fill in our eyebrows. I really like the look that this gives whenever I do body paints just because I feel like it makes it more intense but artistic at the same time. Moving on to highlight, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit, taking blue ice, applying this onto my cheekbones, also bringing it down to my collarbones and shoulders as well just to give a nice unearthly glow before moving on to our NYX Epic Ink Liner and we're actually going to be using this as a lip liner. And for our lipstick color of choice, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Color Sensational Bold Lipstick in Sapphire Siren and just applying that all over my lips. Moving down to gluing on our appliances, you're going to be needing some Prosade and you're going to be applying a thin layer onto your body and applying a thin layer onto your prosthetic as well. I'm just going to be using this fake Sea Star from Michaels and you want to make sure it starts to turn clear before you apply it because this means it's, it is tacky and will fully adhere to your skin because if you do it while it's white, it's not going to stick. It's going to be too liquidy and it's honestly just going to slide right off. I also decided to apply a few fake seashells and moss to my body as well to help make it look a little bit more aquatic but to also help fill in some of the blank spaces on my chest. I'm also going to be taking a tiny bit of this interference blue acrylic paint on a sponge and applying this onto my body but once again I'm using very little and only because I already have a base layer of body paint to help protect my skin so keep in mind just use very little. I'm also going to be taking my Lemon Head Space Jam in Sea Punk and applying this with a sponge all over my body and face as well just to help give it a little bit more glitter just to kind of spice it up a little bit. You're going to prep your eyelashes by curling them before taking your Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and just sweeping it through your lashes. And the false lashes I am using are my Sugar Pill Eyelashes in Plush and I realized that I couldn't see because I already put my contact lenses in so I had to get up real close and personal with a mirror in order to apply these. So feel free to put your contact lenses on after your eyelashes. And being that I did not have my black mouth effects at the time of filming this, I had to improvise, so I'm just going to be taking some blue and green food coloring, applying a few droplets into my mouth, swishing it around, and immediately spitting it out because voila, your teeth are now stained. And to help distress the teeth a little bit more, I'm going to be taking my tooth lacquer palette, taking black, and just applying that onto my teeth as well. And that is the completed makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what they'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos, especially with the Halloween season coming up. You guys are not going to want to miss up on any of these uploads. I will also leave my Halloween playlist linked down below so you guys can check out the past videos I've done in case you're thinking of getting some inspiration for this year's Halloween. So anyways, with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!